It's time to cut some aluminum, carbon fiber, steel, titanium, whatever you have. We've got you covered here in How to Cut Bike Handlebars. When choosing handlebar width, be conservative, as you can always take more off later. Here, we're gonna be taking off 40 millimeters total, which means 20 millimeters off of each side. Typical tools and supplies depend on which material you're cutting. You'll need some kind of measurement device and a way to mark your measurement on the bar. For aluminum, steel, and titanium, you'll want a metal cutting blade with teeth. For cutting carbon fiber, a carbon compatible blade is most effective and you'll need to apply a foaming cleaner to the cutting process as the carbon dust and powder is harmful to your lungs. You can use water or soapy water, but foam is most effective. If you don't have a carbon compatible blade, substitute a higher tooth count steel blade, such as a 32 TPI blade. Double check that the blade is adequately tight in the saw. It's common that people run their blades too loose. Use a saw guide or something similar to help make a straight, clean cut. The ParkTool SG-8 is for carbon blades, the SG-6 is for standard hacksaw blade width, and the SG-7.2 has two separate slots depending on the blade being used. A tubing cutter is another option. They have limitations though. The blade can be too shallow for thick bars, and they can also displace the bar material to the point where a lock-on grip will not go on. Now let's put on some safety glasses and get to work. First, remove the grip from the handlebar. We're gonna work on one side at a time so we can easily reference the placement of our controls after each cut. Move the controls inboard. Measure and mark where we're cutting. Typically, it is sufficient to be accurate down to a few millimeters. This tip marks the cutting point. Install the saw guide. Position it so that the blade sits on the reference mark and tighten it down. If you're cutting carbon, apply the foam or water before you start. If you're not using a saw guide, it can be helpful to begin with a few backstrokes to mark the bar where you'll be cutting. Begin cutting. Metal hacksaw blades are designed to cut on the push, so add some pressure going forward and relieve pressure going back. A blade for carbon fiber is non-directional. When cutting carbon fiber, re-wet the surface regularly to prevent dust from going airborne. Once you get to the end, ease up on pressure and you'll end up with less of a burr. Remove the guide. For metal bars, use a file or deburring tool to clean up the end. For carbon bars, emery cloth or sandpaper are your safest options. Reinstall your grip. If you need help with grip installation, check out our other video that covers it in full detail. Now reposition your controls and duplicate the position of the opposite side. Torque to spec, about four to six newton meters. Repeat the process on the other side. Thanks for watching. You can find hundreds more videos like this one on our channel here on YouTube. And we're constantly working on more. So be sure to subscribe for the latest content for Park Tool. And check out our website, which has even more content to help you make your bike better.